if you're a day trader it's very important that you focus on learning to read the tape and level two because sometimes reading the tape is the only difference between an okay trade and an awesome trade in this video i will show you guys how i personally use the tape to score the perfect entries in the world with awesome risk to reward so make sure that you guys watch this video till the end because if you follow this technique you can easily make 20 or 30 percent of your investment in a matter of few minutes Let's start with my game plan for the day that I post every single market open day on our Discord group. On 28th of March, that was a Monday, start of a new week. I was watching four stocks for the day. I was watching Tesla, Microsoft, Amazon and GME. On this day, on 28th of March, all the four stocks from the game plan were really good right of the market open. If you focus on Tesla, my trade was on Tesla. It had a really good push towards the upside right within the first 30 minutes of market open. The second stock I was watching for the day was Microsoft. Microsoft again right of the market open it broke out of this level 305.5 which i was watching and i posted in the game plan it had a crazy move towards the upside made a high of around 310 dollars level if you catch this move on microsoft from 305 to 310 you can easily get paid around 50 to 100 percent if you're trading options the third stock i was watching is amazon amazon again right of the market open at the breakout of the yesterday's high this dotted line had a crazy push towards the upside it moved 60 70 dollars in your favor again a really good stock from the game plan the last stock i was watching for the day is gme i was watching gme for the break of 160 dollars level at the breakout of 160 it had a crazy push towards the upside made a high of around 165 dollars level that's why all the four stocks from the game plan had really nice moves on this day even if you focus on one stock for the day out of the four stocks i posted in the daily game plan you can make a lot of money let's jump back to my game plan for the day and focus on the game plan of tesla because the two trades i took on this day were on tesla with awesome risk to reward and i will be discussing the level two of these two trades if you guys would like access to my daily game plan and be a part of a trading community of serious and supportive traders you can join our discord group the link will be in the description box below on this day tesla had a news in the pre-market that tesla will be splitting the stock again they posted about this news on their twitter and we could see the reaction of this news in the pre-market tesla was gapping up around five to seven percent in the pre-market itself the previous day close was around thousand ten dollars level and in the pre-market session tesla made a high of around thousand eighty dollars level that's why on this day i was watching tesla for a hold of a level tesla was holding around thousand sixty and thousand fifty as support in the pre-market and the pre-market high was thousand eighty so i was watching for a pullback entry and for the break of thousand eighty as my game plan for the day on the daily chart i had these two levels in my mind this eleven hundred dollars level which is a very good cycle logical level as well and this $1120 level because we had quite a few bounces from this $1120 level right here right here again a rejection from $1120 level and a rejection again from $1120 level in January this year personally after such a huge gap up I like to focus on the pre-market action I like to focus on the support and resistance the stock is holding in the pre-market so let's now jump on to the pre-market price action of Tesla and mark our levels here's the pre-market action on Tesla from 20 28th of March we can see that the news was released around 6 a.m. market time we had a very nice push towards the upside made a bull flag another push towards the upside bull flag another push towards the upside after this initial push towards the upside Tesla held this $1048 to $1050 level as support the first time broke out of the high of the day broke out of the pre-market high back then made a new pre-market high of around $1080 level right here this bold dotted line and then later in the pre-market session Tesla was holding this 1058 to 1060 region as support so as a trader I'm looking at this zone from 1055 to 1060 dollars level for a pullback entry for the break of pre-market high that is thousand eighty dollars level now let's focus on the opening five to ten minutes price action on Tesla at the open for the first five to ten minutes of market open Tesla was pretty choppy and the reason is that because Tesla was already gapping up around five to six percent for the day it it was already up around $60 from the previous day close. That's why a bit of choppy price action right at the market open is expected. But after this initial push towards the downside, as I mentioned, I was
was looking at this zone 1055 and 1060 for a potential entry for the break of 1080 or maybe a test of 1080. My entry on Tesla on my second trade was right at this candle. Let's now jump onto the trade recording of this trade and look at my entries and exits in real time and also focus on level two. But before we do that, make sure that you guys give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel if you're new and hit the bell notifications because it helps out the channel a lot to grow and reach new traders out there. Here's the opening price action on Tesla. I placed my first order to get filled right within the first 20 seconds of market open. As I mentioned, I was looking at this $1,060 level that was holding in the pre-market for a potential entry point. That's why at this dip to $1,060 level, I got filled five contracts. I'm trading 1,080 calls and my fill price was 24.90 on this trade. On this trade, my stop loss is the break and hold under $1,058 level. If we hold under $1,058 level, I will exit my position and I will most likely lose three to four hundred dollars on this trade if the trade decides to go against me. When Tesla made a new high of the day I just made sure to lock in some profits and I was facing a few difficulties with my platform as well. You guys can see that the chart is lagging right here. I could see the level two when Tesla broke 1065. I covered two of my contracts at a fill price of 27.05 and I covered the remaining three contracts at a fill price of 24.45. So those three contracts unfortunately went against me because of this platform issue. If the platform was working fine, I could have exited my position for break even most likely, but because of this platform issue on the last three contracts, I lost a bit of money, overall making around $200 on this trade, which is still not bad trading within the first five minutes of market open. Now here's a recording of my second trade on Tesla. Before I start this recording, we have to focus on the one minute chart and then and I will play the recording of level two. On the one minute chart, Tesla had a push to was a downside, but if you guys focus on the volume, the volume is not that high. Yes, the opening at the open 9.31 a.m. candle, the volume is high, which is kind of expected. But after that, the volume is not that high. And on these green candles, the volume increased. That means there is more interest in this stock. There's more volume in this stock when it goes towards the upside, a lot more interest on higher prices, which is a positive sign for a breakout towards the upside. If we focus on level two, as I already mentioned, this $1,060 level was holding in the pre-market. We are seeing a lot of red around this level, $1,059 and $1,060 level, but the buyers are trying to hold this level. We have around 4,000 shares right here, and that is a bid at $1,059.40. That means buyers are interested around this zone, $1,059 and $1,060 zone. After seeing that interest from the buyers around $1,059 and $1,060 level, Tesla had a dip under $1,057 level, but this candle closed above $1,060. This candle closed right around $1,060 level. That was a lot more interesting to me. Now I'm just looking for a potential entry point if the $1,060 level holds. Now right here again, around $1,060 level, you guys can see a lot of red on the time and sales around $1,059.57, but the bits are not dropping. The bits are still holding above $1,059.57. The same thing will happen again around $1,059.7 level. We saw a lot of red at $1,059.7 level right here. A lot of shares being sold at $1,059.7, but the bits are still holding above that level. So that is a positive sign. There's maybe a hidden buyer who is trying to hold $1,060 level and people are eager to get filled at this position at $1,060 for a breakout towards the upside. When I saw this interest from the buyers and when Tesla failed to go under $1,060 level, even though there was a lot of red around $1,059 and $1,060, I placed my order to get filled. I got filled five contracts. Still, I'm trading 1080 calls and my fill price was 24.47 on this trade. On this trade, when I entered, my stop loss is the break of 1058 towards the downside because I was seeing a lot of buying around $1,059 level. If we lose 1059, if we lose 1058 on the safer side, I will exit my position, most likely losing around four to $500 on this trade on five contracts. After entering this position in the next 15, 20 seconds, I was already in the money. Tesla broke 1065, had a very nice push towards the upside. And if you guys saw the recording live in front of you, I had the best entry in the world. That's why I can't stress enough the importance of reading the tape and focusing on level two when you are day trading or scalping, because if you guys learn to do that, you will be able to score perfect entries like this one with awesome risk to reward. And the good thing about level two is that it only gets better with time and experience. I have been looking at the tape and level two of Tesla for the past three years. So I know how the tape should look like on the pullback or maybe on the breakout. That's why it 
only gets better with time and experience. Start learning about level two and tape now. And how do you do that? It's very, very easy. You can go through my channel on YouTube. I usually discuss level two in my trade recaps as well. I also have a few dedicated videos on level two explaining entries and exits based on level two and tape. When Tesla broke $1,066 level towards the upside just before the break of high of the day, I covered two contracts at a full price of 26.70. When Tesla made a new high of the day right here at the break of $1,070 level, I covered another contract at a full price of 27.20. I was just left with two of my contracts and for these two contracts, I won the test of maybe $1,080 level because at the moment, the five minutes chart, if we close like this, is looking very, very bullish. After my last exit, we had a bit of indecisiveness around $1,070 level, but nothing to worry about. We still were bullish on the five minutes chart. At the break of $1,075, I covered another contract at a fill price of $30.09. That is an insane move in my favor because my fill price was $24.47. That means on this contract itself, I made around $600, which is amazing risk to reward. For my last contract, as I mentioned, my profit target was the break or maybe the test of $1,080 level after this insane move towards the upside i was expecting a bit of a pullback or maybe even rejection from the pre-market high that was 1080 that's why i covered my last contract at a fill price of 33.05 Overall, making around $2,200 on this trade by only risking $500. That means the reward to risk ratio on this trade was more than 4 to 1, which is an amazing trade. That's it, guys. I only traded for the first 15 minutes of market open. My first trade was on Tesla. I took a quick scalp trade on GME for the break of $160 level, making around $45 on GME. But the big winner of the day was my last trade on Tesla. I only took three trades for the day. All three were winners. I started trading at 9.30 a.m. I was done at 9.44 a.m. making around $2,500 within the first 15 minutes of market open which is the beauty of day trading. I'm pretty sure that you guys loved the explanation of level 2 and time in sales so if you did make sure that you guys give this video a thumbs up because it takes a lot of time to make these kind of videos. Every single like counts and it helps out the channel to reach new traders out there. Also if you are new subscribe to my channel and hit the bell notification. I already posted about this day on my Instagram. So if you guys don't follow me on Instagram, make sure that you follow me there. The link will be in the description box below. Thank you for watching and I will see you guys in the next video.